a brief movie about a horse with quite a character, but he had only good experience with people, so he has a good character towards people. He knows exactly the difference in between humans and people. He's my friend and he's very kind to me, but I also have to be aware of him being a stallion and him not getting mixed up in human horse. So that's uh, a thing to pay attention on and this movie I hope to explain more about how I see it. Hope you enjoy the movie. Don't say I look angry. <laughs> it's very sunny and he's very interested in, in my video camera. I'm not looking angry. I'm I'm looking against the sun. This was already a nice example of how this horse, who is a stallion, a full stallion, uh, who is, uh, what do you say, he's a, a stud, a breeding stallion. Uh, this is a nice example of how he is relating to me. He's a very strong character. He is not uh, medium or, or say that is soft. The other one is more soft. The other one is more um, kind and friendly. But he's he's very much into getting related. And for stallions this these relationships are very important. When I look at things, no matter what it is, in, in horse behavior, not in horse riding or harness training or whatever. When I look at horse behavior, I always try to imagine how would it be in nature? What would you do? Like at this moment he's dropping. I don't know if you can see it, he's dropping. So that means that I triggered something sexual. Um, I don't care about this. We are not training, I'm just talking. It's sunshine, it's nice weather. But I should be very aware that he is, it's not allowed for him to be sexual uh, involved with me. So if he would now come to me and try his contact uh, stuff, I would say, get out. I have to say that. Because if I don't, I would give him mixed up signals. And he has to know the difference in between human and horse. Many times you see this in the imprint uh, phase where um, horses are, are not, are taught by people, uh, raised by people, females do it a lot, and they raise these, these, especially male horses, to behave like a human. Well, it's like, like, tr like trying to learn a fish how to walk on, on, on land. It's impossible. They, they were, the only thing that increases is the mixed up. I know a story of a farmer here, not so far away, who had a, a bull and they bred a, a bull which was very, very good for, for breeding, a very good bull. So they kept him and they let their daughter play with him. So he could walk on a rope uh, when he was small. Then the bull became two years of age and he became stronger, bigger. and. <coughs> she told me that it was impossible for her to enter his stable without him playing these games. Well, you have to know how they keep the bulls. They keep the bulls in a, in a special stable. They don't let them out uh, in a special stall. So this animal was also very dull and he had nothing to do. What is this uh, thing I want to say? This bull only knew people as sparing sparing part so what was he doing he was doing completely normal normal bull behavior he would have these games with other bulls but since he was alone he had the need yeah, this instinctual need of, of doing these these fights with the head and but he couldn't do it with other bulls okay let's go back to the horses so the uh, the end of the story is that the bull became really dangerous they couldn't enter the stable anymore so he lived there, I think, one or two years more, with no touch of any, any human being. Uh, and well, that's what happened with bulls. He was eaten. 
With horses, it's a different story because we keep horses. We don't eat horses at the age of four or five years old. We want to do an investment, investigation, uh, no, an, an investment in the future. And I think it's very important. If you choose to have a stallion, though, you will have to be very aware that stallions show stallion behavior. And we have the tendency to call that uh, naughty or bad or unwanted or unwanted many times it is. But actually it's we who are teasing these stallions to show their, their perfectly normal horse behavior to us. Now he's eating uh, wood at, I don't know if you can see it. And that's where the danger starts, that's where the, the issues start. Every touch or stallion has a meaning. At this moment it's spring and it's pretty warm. a movie. I'm going to change the camera a little bit so you can see it better. At this moment it's pretty warm so I'm helping him with his fur. There's a lot of hair. But when I want to go to the other side, and there's no room for me, I have to be able to ask him to step aside. This is what I call uh, very polite, very normal, very nice, very kind, very friendly behavior. This is what I like to increase. You see, I hope you see. I'm not feeding him. I'm not saying to him, oh, pretty boy, oh, you're so cute. No, I'm just being me. Because when I'm me, then he has an idea of my state of mind. For him, it's very important to know my state of mind. Uh, he, he has to know if I'm nervous. He has to know if I'm angry. He has to know if... Uh, blah, blah, blah. I, as a human, they live in captivity. I, as a human, am responsible for his state of mind. I can create a day with tension and I can also create a day like today with rest and calmness. And it's not only the weather, it's also me. Okay, one more step. See how dirty he is? saw that he was more or less forgetting that I was there and he wanted to step aside and I said no. That's being clear and I'm not fighting over it, I'm not punishing, I'm not saying I see that a lot happens, I see that really a lot in many stables. But it seems normal to shout against a horse or to hit a horse but man if they hit us then we get really mean. And the issue of people is that we can be very mean. So, I don't like to be mean, I like to be honest, I like to be friends, I like to relate like he relates on me and like he shows me how polite he can be. So I'm grateful for that. Okay, hope it helps.